Okay, it's P.O.K. It is me here. Uh, I'm trying to install wheel studs. You're going to have to excuse me because I'm doing this on the fly because i got to go to work today. But basically... Uh, shit, hold on. Let me... Uh, clip. I can hold on. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to install wheel studs. Or take out wheel studs. I had these ones which I only had three of these, which were, put my gloves back on, hold on a second. So, I had three of these, two over, I'll show you here. Okay, now, I know this is kind of crap, fuck lousy, I had three of them, these were actually flipped around. These knocked out with a few hammer hits. Uh, using a mallet. Okay. Uh, they were in there pretty good because this is all I had holding my fucking tire on. So they were jammed in there a little bit. You can see the, the fucked up cross threading on there from where they were rubbing against shit. There's that one. And that one. I don't know if this, these were the ones in the exact place there. And that one as well. And they were in this spot, this spot, and this spot. I just got this one out and this one out. I was trying to use a chisel. I was trying to use this. I was trying to use this busted ass motherfucker. And eventually I went to, to this right here, this air hammer. And it's blunted that end since I started using it, that was pointed. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Hold on a second. I'll just stop it here and join together when this thing's done. Uh, okay. By the way, today is 10 16 2016 Sunday. Okay, so I'll stop. Okay, I'm back. 10 16 2016 Sunday. So, I had two more left. I had one here. And one here. Let me see which one was there. This one was up here. I tried beating the fuck out of these and my poor little arm got all tired and stuff. Using this hammer to try to beat these things. Try to do it. Try to hit it with the chisel. So I eventually thought, I'm going to have to ream that fucker out. So I had to get my drill here. This is just a regular electric drill with probably not even a fully charged battery. And a drill bit. And I was using this bit too. Uh, I do not know what size these bits are, but they're just random tool bits. This says one fourth, if you can see it on there. And I'm not sure what this one is, but I fully expect this one to come out in a bit. Now, what well, I'm gonna tell you here, these things were jammed in there tight as fuck because the, they had broke off just like that. So I figured I will drill the hole out there and try to give me a more of a stronger wedge to hit in there. I've also been spraying some WD-40 around the edges like this. Like that. That hasn't been helping. This air hammer hasn't been helping. I fully expect the air hammer to knock this out right now. So let's get to that here. Sorry, I'm trying to get this around. This. Okay. Now let's see what happens here. Now what I was doing was I was going in it like this. And I was drilling bits out. Let's see, is that on there? And I was drilling it out trying to give myself... Oh, God. Hold on. Well, while that's going on, I'll show you the bolts. The nuts. Okay, that's how far that one got in. 
So, I fully expect to get this out here in just a second. I've lubed it various times. I've hit it with the air hammer. What I've found is the deeper the drill point you go, um, the better able your, your air hammer is to hit it and knock it out. I was having no luck with the regular hammer. So, let's give this a shot and see if this works here. Air hammer. Still no luck. So I drill while the air thing fills back up. I'm trying to get a fairly good deep distance in there. For some reason that seems to work pretty good. Putting pressure. putting pressure on the rear of the drill. Putting pressure on the rear of the drill. Now, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of lube. Now we're going to try the air hammer again. This one's still got some work to do on it. The air compressor's filling up, so I drill. The other two knocked out within just a few seconds of each other. It's that far in. By the way, this is one battery so far that I've been using on the drill. change bits just to give that one a break see if I can do some more damage with this one okay let's try the hammer again see if we can get that out hit it with a little bit of lube That did loosen it up a little bit, just a very, very little bit. I really don't want to drill through. It's coming very close. I'm going to wait here.
I'm tilting it. I'm angling it right now. See if I can get a, uh, see if I'm able to collapse the walls a little bit more. I'm not, I'm not going any farther back. I'm just trying to make the hole bigger. Trying to collapse the walls so that it doesn't have so much holding on to it. Okay. <sighs> Give it a little bit more spray. Now let's see what happens. There we go. Now all I gotta do is find the fucking nut. Of course it's lost back there. You'll have to excuse me and look at the back of my head. There it is. Get yourself something long. Try to get down in there. Get that bolt out. There. So here we go with this. That one drilled in pretty fucking deep. And you saw it. I expected that to come right out. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hold on. Okay. I expected that to come right out, but it didn't. So I'm putting my thumb. That's how far I had to drill in to get that thing out. Otherwise, if I had not drilled, if I had not drilled it, I I don't know what the reason was, but I think it allowed the walls to collapse a little bit on here. Cutting out that, I don't know, it gave me a bigger footprint to get that in there otherwise I was just on the outside and I wasn't doing any good but able to get in there I was able to really push the shit out of it so I try and film uh, when I put the studs on here in just a bit by the way this is a 98 GMC Suburban here is the three nuts that I took out as you can see, they're all significantly, as you can see, I beat the shit out of them with the air hammer numerous times. Let me pop this air hammer off so it doesn't come off. And I've been, I've been at this for almost two fucking hours, and then I got the idea to fucking drill it up here. So, uh, my studs are just now showing up, so I'm going to cut loose here, and we're going to see what happens. Why is that at one... 30. Oh, because it rotates when it hits 10 minutes. Okay, yeah, uh, Pac is holding on. Okay, so uh, POK it is me. I got this. This is a uh, 22 millimeter universal deal here because that's all I have. Uh, got my impact wrench. Uh, let's see here. There's the specs on that. Hey, Laura, will you plug this wrench in for me? Plug this in for me. This here should, I think I'm going to have to undo this. There ain't no any other more clothes. Yeah, there's spots on it. On what? On that right there. Take and plug it in on the side or something. Oh, on this side. Oh, I don't see yep. Yeah, well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Ew, what are you doing? Okay, so. That, I think, is. That's forward. 
That's reverse. Top is reverse, bottom is forward. Oh, God. And I haven't done this before, but apparently this is what happens. So here's the, here's the nuts. For some reason, they gave me two crappy looking ones, which I think are used. But we'll try one of, yeah, we'll try one of these first. And we're gonna have this, let's see here. Okay, I think what I need to do, I need to get these in there. So let's try it like, oh, and that's fucking nice. I can't get that in there. So I'm gonna have to rotate the wheel on that. So let's see here. Okay, we're going to try this and see if it works. Philip, do you need help with anything? Uh, no, I'm set. Do you know anything about this stuff? What are you trying to do? Uh, I got to install the fucking lug nuts on this. I did watch a YouTube video. Um, no, I can't say I've ever done that before. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> I, I think I know what I'm doing here. Yeah, all right. Well, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to reverse this, or we're going to, and of course that doesn't fit. Fucking Christ. Ain't that fucking nice. Hey, uh, Chris, hold on there for a second. Yeah? Uh, shit. Tell me, do you see any, see any lug nuts laying around that don't have, uh, god damn it, fucking hell. Turns out I need another fucking lug nut. Um, I'm trying to find, see if you, there are any just plain square ones, because this fucking ridge is fucking with me here. Just, just on the back of the, the, the fucking uh, what do you call this? The, the bumper. Yeah. Do those? Well, they're fucking stuck anyway. I think they're all. Ah, shit. They're all fucked up. Well, I don't know how well this is gonna work. Okay. You might be able to get them out of there with a pair of vice grips or something. Yeah, no, that's, that's, I need to tighten this down on here, but I think I got it here. Uh, I don't need those ones. Just put them back you that way. A, you got a pneumatic air compressor? Uh, yeah. Where the fuck did you get that thing at? Got it years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that might be in. Oops. God damn it, there goes my fucking nut. Ugh. Oh, come here. Okay, so let's see if this worked here. <laughs> Cannot fully tell. You need a light. Almost. I'll show you here. Oh, fucking great. Now that doesn't work over this way. Hey, uh, Chris? Uh, pick this air compressor up and move it about two feet over this way. Yeah, that'll work. Get the cord out from there. Yeah, it's, yeah just as long as nothing's... Oh, uh, don't let that touch the engine there. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, okay. Almost in, I think. So, let's see there. Okay, let's try this again.
you're supposed to use a flat end on this but because I can't get this around here I'm having to improvise so pretty close. I don't know. Let me try it again. It's, it's, oh great, and that fucking thing is out again. This pin keeps coming out of this. Try and bang that pin in real quick. That's the problem with using one of these universal deals. I think that'll be okay. We're gonna just call it quits on that one. And we're gonna go to the next one. Get the rest of these in. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, fucking great. I need a sixth one. Fucking shit. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try this on here. And we're going to lube each of these up. I may just have to use one of my old ones. They're fucked up, but uh, I just have to use one. Where? There it is. keeps coming up. Oh, that one's completely down. Oh, that's fucking fine. It knocked all of those out. Using the long piece here. That's a good tip for y'all. When you have these in here, put something on so they don't fall out.
God damn it. Shit. Ain't that nice. Now I'm missing the fucking nut. I had three. Oh. In there. Try to go on this one again. This is about fucking annoying. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to tighten all these down. These are these are the nuts from these are the original nuts here. They're all kind of screwed up a little bit, so I'm not going to use that one because I've already I can feel the threads on that one fucking up. this one. Oh. Let me see if this one goes down easy. This has got a little fuck up in it. Of course that could be dirt that's on there. I think it might be dirt. Okay, I'm going to tighten all these down. This one's kind of being a bitch, so I'm not going to do that one. Check these all here in a little bit. So we're gonna do that one.
Luckily, this pin hasn't broke on this motherfucker yet. I think those are in. That did get some metal chips there, so... I'm gonna have to invest in a new one of these fucking things. Okay, so... I could probably pass with getting through one of these. Wonder which one would be the best. Well, let's try this right here. don't know if that one's in all the way, so I'm going to try this one here again. I'm gonna have to go in and see what I can find here. This thing's fucking annoying me. Okay, pock out. Okay, so I'm back and I wanted to show you. These need to be flush. These are the new ones here. I'll let you try to look here. That is not flush. That one is. that up there. Fortunately, Mr. GoPro can only go so far. This one here is not flush either. Whereas this one is. Okay. There's that, so I'm going to have to tighten that down. I think, I think that one is. No, no, that yeah, that one is flush. So is this one. 
there's the ones on that side. And the one on that side. So, I've got to tighten this one down. And I've got to tighten that one down just a little bit more. So, let's get going here. And then what I'm going to have to do is... I'm gonna have to turn the car on. I'm gonna have to back it up with the tire on. I'm gonna have to rotate it so that I can get probably one of these sides. I'm probably gonna have to use an old bolt. See, I can put this through like this with ease over here. So I need the tire facing over here. So let's, and I did find a, uh, well, wherever the hell that is. That's like the half inch. This is, uh, well, it doesn't say. Well, small end, big end. There we go. Okay, now we're going to tighten this down. Oh, it stops. We're, we're going till it stops there. <laughs> and if you look at this, I have dulled that pretty good. This is what it's supposed to look like. So. This nut's pretty fucked up. on that one's on okay so let's just see if we can get one of these in here these are all fucked up and stripped but I think I'm gonna have to use one because there's just none in the area so to move this out of the way we're gonna try the tire and see if that fits properly well actually what we'll do is we'll uh, We'll try the drum. Well, that fits, so. So, let's uh, put the tire on here and get Mr. Camera Cord out of the way. I did have my gun on me earlier. <laughs> and by the way, you can see, these are all fucked up here. I don't even know if I should be using this tire anymore. But right now, this is pretty much the only rim I've got. Actually, I'll test it out with this other rim. Because I need to see if this one even operates. Ugh. Wait, Ant. So you don't want to get me another bolt somewhere? No. They uh, said they don't sell them like that, Sam. Use the old one. 
No, but I mean other places. Uh, no. I have to do it oh. right now. Oh. Fucking Christ. I can't hear what you're really saying. You want the O'Reilly receipt? No, I don't need it. Alright, I'll keep it. You want your paycheck stub or do you want me to keep that too? Just keep it for now, I guess. Okay. Set it in there where the timesheets used to be. keys real quick. bolt on, I'm going to have to use an old one, because there ain't a whole lot around here. Oh, hell. Bring this back up here. Oh. So, um, for now, we'll just set like that. By the way, when I moved this, I only had these on snug, not super tight or anything. By the way, I'm using a three-ton Harbor Freight Jack. I'll show the stuff I'm using here later. nuts. There's a brand new nuts. Okay, let's see which bolt we want. And let's see. I'll only use old bolts on old nuts. So we're going to See which one seems to work out the best here. This one's going pretty good all the way down until it's going to get to these threaded spots. And that's the problem is we've got these crappy threaded spots here. on the bolts. It's the threads on these, so let's see which one's got a little bit less. Put this back up here. Da, 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 da. Put that. 
units, and now I'm trying to determine out of which of these seems to have the worst threading. And they're all pretty much fucked up. Well, this one doesn't seem to be too bad. I can't tell if that bolt is straight or not. Oh, it's got a little damage on that side. Hmm. Maybe I should do a roll test. See which of these rolls straight, but that won't do any good. It's got a little damage on both sides. Well, I'm getting little kinks here and there. And then with that right there, I can't even get it. So this one might be bent. I think this one's bent. This fucking sucks because there's no way, real way to test this. So be the nut that I'm using. Let's see if there is a. I don't think I can hold that. Ah, nope, nope, that ain't gonna work. This is the best looking one, but I hate to put that on. It's fucking bent. I can't tell. Alright, let's uh, take a look. It's another tight one. Of course, I don't think it's due to the threads because this, this should go on here just fine. This one has what looks like the least damage. But it fucking hangs up right there. This one's got pretty significant damage. But. time that gets to there huh I'll see where this goes again So, I'm going to take, I'm going to mark it, a piece of grass. I know it's not fucking economical, but let's uh, mark it with a little bit of dirt. So, while I was using that, that would be well into the threads. This has got the least. Where's the other one at that I just had? We'll use this one. I don't like it, but that's what we're going to have to do. So, let's, um, this fucked up bolt here. <sighs> Start this on there. We'll see what happens. I'm 
try to get this down there as close as I can. sucks. God damn it. Fucking hell. I can't get that down there. So I'm going to have to try something else here. that into place and I can't do it. Uh, I did get it a little bit more snug in there. I might have to pull back on this while I'm doing this. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm gonna have to stop this. Okay, so back, let me make sure it's recording. Uh, okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm taking a screwdriver. This is shredded metal from either the tire rim or from the nut. So what I'm doing, I've already done it on the other side. As you can see, this is the same bolt I was working with. This side's pretty clean. I'm going through here. I'm cleaning it a little bit like that. So, and you see right here, there's the uh, one seven. So you know what side that's on. Like that. So watch. Take this, and we'll hit it a few times. And hold on, I'm gonna have to bring it down here so I can get a better grip on it. Oh, there it is. Just came out. As you can see, there's the one seven. That piece just came out. So we'll try to clean it up a little bit more. get some of this gunk out of here. I think I'll hit it with a little spray too. Apparently these things are pretty damn tough. So, now I do have some deformation in the threads right there. So those might be a little bit tough to, to mess with. Let's try on that again. And my fucking hands are getting all weak here and shit. Let's go the other way. Oh, I'm actually using the wrong nut. I'm using this one over here, I think. Of course.
course, this is the fucked up one that's been ran through the ringer here. But, yeah, so far it's going all right. I might need to run this one. I'm going to need to run this one back and forth over uh, a few other deals here. Hold on a second. I don't want to use this fucked up one. Uh, let's try this one. Let's see how this one works. Well, that's, that's a fucked up one, too. Look at that. Let's try this one. Oh, shit, that one's fucked up. Look at that. That's all fucked up. Uh, I guess we'll stick with this one. Of course, let's get some dirt on it so that it makes it easier for it to go on. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this one. Put this bolt over here. Run this one over, over one of these new ones a few times. should work a lot better as I've basically re-threaded it and of course it's getting hung up right in there well let's let's just try it and see what happens maybe I can force it There's my nuts. Try to get a pair of pliers here. Probably not going to work too good on this, but... <sighs> Probably not the best thing to do with this. Actually... That didn't fucking work. That didn't work at all. Oh, that's too high. What well, would help with this would be a thread tool. There we go. Oops. <laughs> I got the damn thing on. I got to get it off. God damn it. There we go. So, just doing pliers and that worked pretty good. So now we got to get this in there. By the way, I've never done this before. So, yeah, it's still a little tight. God damn it. Yeah, it's a little tight threading it on there. It's still. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to use this one to tighten it down. <laughs> this is the good one. This is the good one. We don't want to use the good one. Don't use the good one. Use the bad one. Which of 
course will probably slide right on properly. And of course this one wants to cause problems. Oh my fucking god. Boy, you see that's the Try this one. Of course, this one slides on easy, but it's already fucked up. Okay, so time to tighten it down. until it stops. So, that's that. And we'll verify by the light. That one's down, that one's down, that one's down. They are all down. They're all snug. And I'll give you another picture though. So you can see what snug looks like. Sorry, my cord is at the end of its rope. <laughs> That's snug. Now, give you another view again. See? There's the grips. There's a little bit of edge in there. So you got threads, smooth, grip, smooth, end. Okay. Now you remember looking at that. There's that. See? So experimentation and process. Okay, so I'm going to reattach everything, and I'm going to put the camera over here so you can watch me doing that. Oh, let's see here. Let's see how many I got on there. By the way, I'm using a GoPro Hero 3 Silver. spray all the nuts again, getting them clean. That should be good. These out of the way. Slips on there just fine. This is the spare tire. I'm testing this out to see how this tire works. I need to do some tire changing here. There we go. So make sure you put the right nut with the right thing. This is the fucked up nut. This is the fucked up bolt. I'm putting new ones on all the new ones. And then when I'm done here, I'll show you all the tools I use. I'm sorry the video is taking so long, but I haven't figured out how to fast forward this stuff yet. Uh, I just don't use that feature very much. Camtasia, if there is that feature, which I'm sure there is, but by the 
by the way, these bolts and nuts cost about 20 bucks for all of them from O'Reilly Auto Parts. And it turns out I needed acorn nuts for this anyway because the way the tire is. It's got 35 of air, but... supposed to be torqued down to about 85 pounds but I'm going till they stop that's what all my promise has been but I didn't torque them down mostly because I don't have a torque wrench That's on there pretty good. Oh, okay, time to drop it here. say that tire looks like it's standing up pretty good. We'll have to see if it's got a slow leak in it or anything. So we'll let it sit here for a while. Let me pull my earplugs out. I don't hear anything that sounds like a leak. So I'm going to pause the video here and then I'm going to show you what tools I used. Okay. Okay, me again. Uh, got everything fixed up. I want you to see my hands first. Okay. This is with gloves on. Okay, so I want to show you here what parts you need, what things you're going to need, or you could need. Again, now, I want everybody to know, um, I did this on the fly. I have never changed uh, lug nut studs, bolt studs, whatever the fuck you want to call them, wheel studs. Uh, what I called them was lug nuts. I have never, the lug nuts is actually the nut. I've never changed that before. I basically watched two to three, maybe four YouTube videos on changing, uh, shit, what are they called? Bolt studs, uh, wheel studs, changing wheel studs. And... The problem I was originally having is I thought I had calipers on the back. Well, I didn't, so I lucked out pretty good. But I did have brake pads, as you did see. I had brake pads and a drum. So let me show you a few things here. Remembering I had brake pads and a drum. First off, got this uh, heavy-duty 3-ton floor jack rapid pump, uh, low-profile, Pittsburgh. Got that from Home Depot. Uh yesterday actually uh laura got that for me for 70 <coughs> it was on sale for 79 bucks as you can see the tires are already fully scraped on it from going over the gravel and i just opened this this morning it's now um it's now 207 in the afternoon and i just opened that this morning it is rapid it raises it raises high really fast and then once it hits pressure such as the weight of the vehicle uh 
then it goes in slow pumps, but it's extremely easy. I did not have to stress, I wanna show you here, see if you can get a look at my other pump, uh, my other jack. This is the jack I was using. That's two ton capacity blackjack. This thing was hard as fuck to pump up. Once it hit pressure, it was extremely hard. I had to put weight into it to pressure, to pressure it up. This one, I was pumping up with one hand, no stress at all. So, there's that. Now, this is a Craftsman 125 pound per square inch maximum one horsepower, three gallon uh, uh, compressor, yeah. Um, I've been using this one for a couple years. My last one died because I didn't drain out the air in it. Remember to drain out your air with your little uh, air, air fucking hose. Where is it? Remember to drain your air out because that will rust your fucking tank. As you can see, there's cracking on it from where it's expanded. But this is working pretty good. My other one's laying in the backyard sleeping. Uh, but the three gallon. Uh, I'm going to go into this here in just a little bit. Now we're going to go up here to the tools I used. Tape measure. Tape measure to measure the inside of the drum. Uh, it's the inside of the drum that matters on the brake. For instance, 98 GMC Suburban four-wheel drive 1500. Uh, when it came to the drum size or brake size, it was 11 inches. Mine, mine was pretty much right at 11 inches for the inside of the drum. So you measure, measure the inside of the drum. This is the bolts that sheared off. The cap here kept the bolts in while I was driving, even with the cap half loose. This happened at two different times. A couple days ago, two of them broke off. Tire was wobbling. And, uh, you know, and it rode on these ones. Okay, so here's the other parts we need. Well, actually, let's go over here. You want some gloves, because if you're like me, you get fucking dirty and it bothers you. You also need water. Water helps out a little bit. I've drank that down since, uh, since I've been out here. Let me get another sip right here. You don't need a jug as big as that, but just some water. If not, if not for anything, then just to clean shit off. Screwdriver. Just a regular dirty ass old screwdriver I used to clean the threads. And I could probably clean these threads as well. Eh, I'm not going to do it right now. A pair of pliers. As you saw, I held on to the back of this. Just hand pressure. Got that off. Drills. Now this right here is a Black & Decker, you can buy these at Walmart, Black & Decker, 18 volt. I used only one battery with this, and it still goes. This battery may have been fully charged or nearly fully charged. This one I had no fucking chuck for because look at this, old time stuff. I had no fucking chuck for it. But when using the drill, I would suggest using something with constant power as opposed to something that can die on you in the middle of stuff. This one stood up pretty good. This is one of the older batteries I have. And it stood up pretty good. Okay, hammer. You're going to need a hammer for whacking. If the hammer doesn't work, you're going to have to go to the drill and uh, air hammer method. Flashlight, LED. I'm suggesting LED just because this is the one I had... Uh, I found it the other day, and LED creates a bright, crisp light as opposed to regular incandescent. And then we got our drill bits. These are just dirty old freaking drill bits. That right there says one fourth on it, if you can see it. Wait a minute. Right down there near the end. One fourth. This one I have. Let me see here if I can get that. Not really sure what that says. It looks like it says H3. Yeah, this is one fourth also. You can use any size drill bit you want. I originally brought this out. 
which is quite a bit bigger than that, but I never got to use it because it wouldn't fit in my chuck here. It, it barely fits, but it won't fit. Um, by the way, that is, there's the dimensions on the chuck, one to 10 millimeter. So that's that. Okay, so now you want some hammer items. I've got a punch and a random piece of metal. Looks like piece to a lock or something like that, which I was using. That was already pre-damaged. Um, WD-40. Any kind of lubricant, anything to put in there to lube it up. I suppose water would work as well. But there's WD-40. Impact wrench. There's the specifications on that impact wrench. Uh, I cannot remember where I got this, but it is electric. I suggest electric for this, and this goes to the drill too. I'll, I'll tell you about this here in just a bit. Um, socket, deep socket, okay? Deep socket, 22 millimeter. That's uh, basically a half inch. Well, shit, you know, I could have just done that like that. Fucking hell, I went all this time doing other things. I could have just done it like that. Uh, I guess that's half inch. This right here is, I guess, a half inch adapter. Which I... I used on this. Put that on there. This went to that. This went to that when I could have just went to that. Okay. Uh, this for the air hammer. This is a pointy deal, which is now blunted because I've used it. Using this today blunted that. That used to be a perfect tip on the end of it uh, for whatever type this is. I don't know what type this is. But you go look this up, and you'll see what it was. And this used to have a part pointy tip on it and now it's blunted to a nice smooth blunt whatever air hammer this is a uh, Campbell Hossfeld but like I said this is the problem here I'll get I'll, I'll let you read over the information there there's that um, the problem with using air tools which I didn't find out until I actually started using air tools a long time back is for impact wrenches and air tools, you need a huge air reservoir. And three pounds, or what is that, three pounds? Three gallons is not enough. You'll need at least, I think, 20, 20 gallons. Because when you use an air impact wrench and you're trying to use three gallons, it does, it, it, the three gallons just doesn't have enough pressure in it I'm, I'm talking full three gallons. When you first start that thing, it will not have enough pressure in it to use the air impact wrench at full speed. It needs 20 pounds at least, I think, to get full speed on it. This thing, I'm sure you saw me using this on the video. I used it for a few seconds, and just a few seconds, it started filling back up. And it was going dead right after that. But this thing did fucking help in knocking... In knocking these out it really really did help I beat on these a few different times as you can see by the indentations some of those indentations are from me beating on it with this fucking thing some of those indentations are from me hitting it with this as you can see there that kind of fits in there and then I, I drilled these out like that this one was the deepest one I did you don't want to go all the way to the back but the farther this gets in there, the more it works for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe the walls collapse in a little bit. But that's that. And there's that. Um, bring a phone with you. To call for information, I would also suggest a cell phone or something with access to YouTube so that you can review your YouTube videos as you're working on it, like watch my video here and review it as you're working. I'm sorry my video is so fucking long, but hey, skip through it. You find the parts you need. Um, air hose, 
for your air compressor. Also, since you're changing your tire, you might as well fill them up with air while you're at it. Use a uh, little air deal. And of course, personal protection. Uh, this is 38 Special. I did have a Glock 22 on me most of the time. Um, just because I saw some random people walking around and I don't need them walking off and then me having to run back in and grab my gun with, with all the shit I had laying out here. So, um, personal protection, it always matters. This is Kansas City, so you don't know when the fuck you're going to get a drive-by on your ass. Uh, look, hey, I've got issues. I, I, I'm safe. I'm extremely safety conscious now, so that's how that goes. So, again, here's all the tools. There's the air hammer. That's that air hammer right there. Uh, bolts and nuts. Impact wrench, again, specifications on the impact wrench. Okay, I'm not sure how many foot-pounds that is. I completely forgot. I don't know if it says on there anywhere else. No, I don't know how many foot-pounds it is, so I, I have no idea. Oil, flashlight, drill bits. Um, I seem to be missing a part. Oh, punches hammer. Hammer is used for brute force. If you can do it by hammer, then you don't need a lot of this other shit. Wrench. As you saw, I had problems with that. Screwdriver. You can use a screwdriver as a chisel too, but you're going to blunt the fuck out of it. I didn't do that on mine, and I knew that's what was going to happen, so I didn't do it. Um, but yeah, the screwdriver helped with uh, removing the threads. Uh drill. This is electric drill. I mean, that's, this is cordless. This is electric. You could, of course, use an electric. Go back to this. Tape measure in inches. Not any stupid shit like metric or anything like that. Inches. It measured 11 inches on mine. It measured right about about the inside of the drum measured right about like that. So... And that's pretty much all you're going to need. Gloves, water. Those are all your stuff. Let's back up here so you can see it. Uh, again, the three-ton floor jack. This one right here. Rapid pump. It really low profile. It's really fucking wide. That was one of the problems I was having. Is I was set, Where I was putting this on down here. Oh, where I was putting it on, on the part there, the, uh, the fucking, uh, whatever the hell you call it, uh, the, the, the fucking, whatever it is, I don't know what it is, uh, where I was putting it on that, uh, the part there with the fucking four screws on it right next to the tire, I don't know what the fuck it's called, uh, when I was putting it on that, when I was going up and down with the tire, the tire was kind of rubbing against it, so, that's, uh, that's that. But this, this thing right here, the pumps pumping this up was one-handed and easy. Almost virtually no pressure at all to get the back end of that with all that random shit in there in it. By the way, there's the, there's the box for the jack so you can see what it is. Low profile. Uh, that jack worked fucking great. It worked better then this jack, right there, see that, Ugh. this thing right here was hard as fuck to pump up, I did this yesterday at work, and it was hard as fuck to pump up, it did raise it on a flat surface, but that's the other thing, that's uneven ground, that's uneven ground, that right there has moved up about, I'll show you here, how far I did this, here. that black spot there, that is where I originally was working from. I moved it up that far to rotate the tire to get this bolt over this way so I could get it in. Um, so yeah, I'm rambling as usual. But like I said, this, this jack fucking kicked ass. It was so easy to use. The only problem with it is it weighs about 76 pounds. It's heavy as fuck. This right here, I'm having virtually no problem picking that up. 
this thing right here. I'm dreading even picking it up. Oh, oh fucking Christ. It's fucking heavy. So, there you go. That right there is all the tools needed. So, uh, hope this helps somebody out. And like I said, I learned to do this in one day. You can do it too. You just have to get a little dirty. And, uh, yeah, it, it took me one day. I watched about four YouTube videos. And all the YouTube videos, all they showed was uh, taking the, taking the, the, the fucking, uh, what was it, wheel stud. Uh, all it showed was tightening the wheel stud on there. Uh, I showed you the process of basically getting out of stuck one, and I don't know. You guys figure it out. I'm fucking tired. I got to go and take a bath and go to work. So, bye-bye.